Hello everyone, Dr. Matt Ed. Today we'll talk about point-of-care ultrasound RV inflow view. We'll talk about how to obtain RV inflow view and when is it needed. To obtain the RV inflow view, first you get the parasternal long axis view and then you tilt the transducer towards the patient's right hip. I'll show that to you later. It is indicated to view the RV inflow view when you want to visualize the tricuspid valve and to assess for tricuspid regurgitation and its velocity. This is especially needed when one is unable to obtain an apical four view due to patient having poor windows. To get the RV inflow view, first you get a good parasternal long axis view and then when you get that, you tilt the transducer towards the patient's right hip as shown in this video. Here we have the indicator pointing towards the patient's right shoulder and then when you tilt the transducer towards the right hip, your tail tilts upwards and the ultrasound beam goes down like so. This is the RV inflow view, this is the RV, this is the RA and these are the tricuspid valve. This is the parasternal long axis and as you tilt the transducer towards the patient's hip you get the RV inflow view as shown in this video. So parasternal long, tilting the transducer towards the right hip. This is the RV, RA and this is the mitral valves. These are the mitral valves. This is that same RV inflow view with color Doppler. And we can see if there's tricuspid regurgitation. And here you see that there's no blue flowing backwards. So therefore, there is no tri tricuspid regurgitation. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe and look out for my next video. Thank you for listening.